Welcome back to Crew Flat Farms. In the cows, in the barn, maintenance edition for the Suburban. I have spectators, little peanut gallery. Whoop. What are you doing, girl? Oh, not happy. What about you? All right, we're gonna get some, and I have a cow, uh, cows. And cats, everything with a C is talking to me today. Okay. So, fire extinguisher in case I set the Suburban on fire. Isn't that great? So, anyway. Battery died while we were camping. Uh, in this car, or this truck, there's a giant brace. It goes underneath here. Mounts to right there. Kind of like that. Um, goes Dustly from that corner. It's been painted over when they put it in the bolts with three 13 millimeter bolts. They're removed and sitting out of the way over here. One, two, three. Those, there's a 13 millimeter right down here. I'm going to take that out. That mounts the battery. Be right back. This goes into a large square. Looks a lot like that. So this, this, this holds the battery in on the lateral aspect of it right down there 13 millimeter i recommend a long extension next we're going to deal with the terminal posts uh, the terminal posts are 10 millimeter take those off and there's clips here that you use a flat blade screwdriver for and on the far side all that comes off and you move it out there's a 13 millimeter bolt down here that holds this tank take it loose and you can move the overflow out I just got finished driving this car, so I may not move that tank. We'll see, it's kind of hot, not super hot. The tank, I can, it's just warm to the touch with a hand, but it's the overflow anyway. Okay, so let's get started. All right, 10 millimeters. This tab right here popped right off the side here. Super simple, 10 millimeter there. I used a pretty long extension to get back there so I didn't have to deal with this hinge point and then a shorter extension for that. And boop, it's off. Lots of electronic connections there. I'm going to use the bar to hold this back. Hang on. Okay. So I just lifted this up. There's a gap between the big wires here. And put this underneath. Held that there. Put this in behind. So there's some mechanic somewhere saying I'm going to kill the car or something. Well, if it is, you know, at least it's my fault. And there's a 13 millimeter right down there that holds this tank. I'm going to get that out. Correction. 10 millimeter. Sorry. 10 millimeter. I used a really long extension. Got down on top of it. Oop. It's out. So... 10 millimeter, three 13s, and two 10s on the terminal. That's all you got. This bar comes out first, here to there. I removed the two terminal posts with 10 millimeters, 13 millimeter here, 13 millimeter there. It's laying to the side. I pulled the tank back just a hair. It has a post that's mounted to the frame. You can move this back off that post so you don't run the risk of breaking that little tab that holds it on that's not loose then, but it's loose right now. I'm gonna take that out and we'll put the new battery in. Hang on, one battery tray, a little bit of leaves and stuff in there. Clean it out while I'm in here. Kind of see what's there. It's a relatively new truck. Considering, let's see what your model is. battery is. Hang on. Battery information is actually underneath all that information. There. This is the factory GM battery, it looks like. So, five years, this is 2022, not bad. All right. This is a Duracell 94R87. And in behind, the same dimensions, the seat's a little bit curved. This is the factory GM battery. Why ever they took the handle off, who knows. But, there you go. Okay, I just had to move the tank back just a hair. Put it in at an angle, pick up a bit, and lower it in. And it's out and away from the frame as it was. I'm gonna put the tank back, lock everything back down, put the terminals on, be right back. Okay, aha, accessorizing. You're gonna to listen to cows, they're all mad at me because I'm not feeding them right now because I have to fix the truck first. Anyway, I lifted this and put it up over this brace. I'm gonna move it back over the brace. I'm gonna unwedge this wire here which is the ground. Unwedge that from that. Okay, so we've got ground. 
and we've got hot. They're 10 millimeters. Tight. They're good and tight on the terminal posts. That one's no way it can move, it's impinged. All right. This on. Was that one? That one gets it lined up. Just put it in there loosely. One more piece. This is the piece that holds the battery down. It's just a big old hunk of plastic. I just had to lean over a little farther to get it to thread. And I don't want to cross thread anything, so I had to lean into the motor and put a finger on it a little bit better. I hear the rain beating down. Nobody wanted to do it. AutoZone says it's too much work or they're not mechanics or whatever. Sam's Club said, okay, we've got no problem doing that. We'll see you in six days. Well, my wife drives this truck to work. And uh, the truck dies at work. I gotta come get her, one. And two, she's gonna be stranded when she wants to get away from there. And that's not happening. So, that is almost that. We get the tools put away off the engine anyway. Setting them over to the side here. I'm gonna put this cool guy cover back on. Listen to the cows. And the rocking rhythm of the rain. I'm gonna start it up, hang on. Operation of success, but the cow may have died. They have shade tree mechanic. How about barn mechanic? You can't even hear me. Sure. Hang on. Ladies, it's your debut. Uh-huh. Gas tone. What you got, honey? You want a little something to eat? Hang on. Please. Alfalfa. Nice tongue you got there. What about you, Beavis? You want one? There you go. Want one? You're a little more shy. That's my wife's favorite cow, Anastasia. That one's Gaston. He has a date with Destiny on the 9th of January. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you. I know the cows appreciate me right now. They're being quiet this way. But I fed you, kitty. Oh, you got something on your face. You got spider web stuff. You ate all that food? No! Sneaky dog. You're telling on the dog. I get it. Okay, hang on. Problem solved. Oh. <gasps> kitty, kitty. Your food's there, baby girl. Doggy, stop eating her food. All right, who wants the last cube? Alfalfa. What about you, youngin? Oh, you're, you're not that quick. Oh, sorry. I know, honey. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, it worked out. So never use a metal ring while you're working on batteries. That was dumb. And wear something to protect your hands from battery acid because that battery could have had acid all over it and my hands would be on fire or have burns. So uh, something to protect your hands. Don't wear this. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to tell you for safety stuff. Be careful. Hook grounds up. Good thing. Anyway, batteries and batteries and vehicles. Did the best I could do. Y'all take care. Thanks.